Brian Stelter called for censorship, like, legit. You can't say that. Why? I disagree with you. You have that kind of censorship. <laughs> and then refuses to call it censorship. Alright, let's go watch the video. Oh, no. Information, pollution, whatever. It's always... Yeah. Okay, now it's not muted. ...is up in the sky. Information, pollution. And the polluters are trying to deflect blame. Notice how he's gonna... Deflect blame, yeah. Also, Brian, you, you've you never gotten a story wrong? Okay. So, did you believe the Steele dossier? I mean, that doesn't count if it's legitimately sore. It's a collision. Oh, God. His honest cries of censorship are filling Fox's airwaves, with charges that these guys, right here, are being suppressed. No. Ooh. Brian, 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 Brian. Now, I've already done research for this video. Mate, no, wrong, bad. As we can see, Brian, they didn't claim they were being suppressed, they claimed Fox was being suppressed. Wait, that's later. Oops. Uh, but no, in this clip, they're actually talking about big tech censorship. Why? Because Trump got banned, and this was before the entire... Actually, this was as it was going on, so, yeah. Oh, God. Censorship's been invoked almost 400 times on Fox this month alone! Again... Trump getting banned, parlor, things like that. Because that. Yeah. God, Brian's dumb. Third times on Newsmax. Three. Oh, Jesus, Brian. We all know you're jealous of Newsmax. Just admit it. You look like a solar panel. That's inverted. God, Brian. I, I just hate Brian Stelter. He has the nerve to name his thing reliable sources. God. Correction, a book publisher decided that it does not want to be in business with Senator Josh Hawley. So he's been on a national TV tour claiming he's my puzzle. Well, yeah, um, considering, um, he was going with his plan and then all of a sudden, <gasps> oh no, sir, you can't publish your book. It does kind of seem like that, now doesn't it, Brian? Oh, God. Tucker Carlson is telling viewers that this network, CNN, is trying to force Fox News off the air. Which is patently false. It's patently false. Wait a second, what's this? I actually found the real clip, and Brian's about to be proved a liar? Oh, you did! Okay, so I found the actual clip. Here we go. This morning, CNN announced that it is working to force the Fox News Channel off the air and run this company out of business. A number of prominent Democrats, including office holders, support that effort. CNN staffers have already contacted the six major cable carriers in this country. Those are the companies that carry our signal into your home and pressured them to drop Fox News. Why? On the pretext that this show is directly responsible for the, and, and others on the channel, are directly responsible for the violence at the U.S. Capitol this week. It is time, CNN announced, quote, the TV carriers face questions for lending their platforms to dishonest companies that profit off of disinformation and conspiracy. So here you have a news company calling for censorship. You have a TV network demanding that media conglomerates ban its competitor. That's terrifying. But it's also, if we're being completely honest here, kind of amusing. Because you can just imagine CNN's blustery little dwarf king calling into his morning staff call yesterday. He spent a long night sitting on the tiny throne in his apartment, feet dangling just above the floor, watching Fox News and getting angrier and angrier. By the time he reaches his minions in the CNN newsroom to deliver the day's orders, the dwarf king's fleshy face is quivering like jello and crimson with rage. Make them stop, he screams. Make them stop. The minions jolt to attention. The first to her battle post is the former homecoming queen, 
Orange County who's eager to prove her chops. She's not a primetime anchor. She'd like to be, but she's still just a newsreader, a former co-host of a radio show on a contemporary hit station in Yakima, Washington, called Billy Blue and Brianna 2, The Morning Zoo. Not everyone takes her seriously. She wants to be taken seriously, and this is her chance. So she tries to remember the Dwarf King's quarters. Stop Fox! That was the main command. Then there was that stream of consciousness part, the part where the boss was breathing so heavily it was hard to make out the word. There was white supremacy, insurrection, domestic terrorism, something like that. She tries to connect the dots. It's confusing, but she's pretty sure the word insurrection was in there. For sure, someone insurrected maybe or acted insurrectingly, something like that. No, it was definitely insurrection. So she decides to look up the word in the dictionary to see what it means. Here's what happened next. It was an insurrection. Take Merriam Webster's word for it. Insurrection, an act or instance of revolting against civil authority or an established government, knocking down barriers, knocking down gates, pushing police out of the way. Police would be the civil authority as described in the definition of insurrection. They broke windows and doors. They vandalized offices. Take Miriam Webster's word for it. That's Mrs. Miriam Webster to you. But here's the problem. This show, she explained, refused to call that obviously highly insurrection-y event an insurrection. Literally didn't use the word. Just refused. I mean, seriously. Who would do that? Well, if you really want to know who would do that, a white person would do that. A privileged white person. Someone who, presumably unlike her co-workers at CNN, and in fact the Dwarf King himself, was both white and privileged. Afflicted with something called white privilege. So much white privilege, in fact, that it blinded this person. Because that's the thing about white privilege. If you keep doing it, you go blind. That's what the boss said. Tucker Carlson rolls his eyes at the idea of systemic racism at white privilege, but perhaps he should roll those eyes on over to a mirror. It is entirely fantastical to think that crowds of black or brown Americans would have been treated as the mostly white insurrectionists at the Capitol were on Wednesday. (laughs) Oh, the moral lecture from the morning too, lady. Perhaps he should roll his eyes on over to a mirror. Assuming you can even do that when you've been blinded by white privilege, because white people can't see themselves, right? But maybe they should see themselves. They might stop insurrecting, stop being so white and privileged. He went on like this for an entire segment. You can look that up on the internet. In a way, that's the good news. With enemies like this, Fox News will be around for a long, long time. So, yeah, there's your couple-minute clip. But as shocked as you may be, um, and surprised to find out that Brian Stelter did not cover the story honestly... I know. All right, just after the the is is trying to take flags news over the air comment. It's as predictable as the sunrise. Democrats win elections and then Republicans say they are being silenced. And it's as predictable as the sunrise. Republicans win all the elections and then they say this country is racist. Yay. Okay, and then Brian's, uh, uh, Stel- God damn it. You know, I'm just gonna go refer to him as, a uh, Little Boss. Culture. Let me suggest a different way to think about this. A harm reduction model. Harm reduction? <laughs> what? What's a harm reduction model? Seriously, what's a harm reduction model? Yes, it's not censorship, it's a harm reduction model. Oh, so it's not- Yeah. Oh god, Brian Stelter is so awful. Most people want clean air and blue skies and accurate news and rational views. Yes, and those still exist. In fact, air became cleaner. I guess they also became bluer since oxygen. So, yeah, I guess the air became cleaner and bluer under Trump. So, and, uh, news became more diverse, meaning 
more accurate news because hey if you don't i'm just gonna go to this other guy over here none of yeah and um up to the day um that biden was inaugurated i should mention uh cnn had a death toll counter you know by the way that's uh gone you know i uh, hear they were having trouble with the broadcasting strength if you know what i mean Oh god. Environment looks beautiful. Then we can have great fights about taxes and regulation and healthcare. Yeah, except, uh, wait, wait. Oh, we don't have government because there nobody could pay taxes and people starved because we prioritized the environment too much instead of not starving. Obviously, this is very extreme, but yeah. But basically, he tries to compare Republicans and online censorship to Ryan Stelter not being able to go to the park. O okay, you can go make that weird comparison with no evidence. Oh, God. We can agree that disinformation about, let's say, the pandemic is unhealthy. Well, no, I would uh, argue it is, because people can see how dumb it is. But, but, let's uh, live in a society where there is no disinformation. Bad things can't be challenged, because it might be labeled as disinformation. I mean, legitimately. Um, look back to the, uh... What's her? Um, Galileo. I mean, he was basically put into house arrest because he, number one, challenged the theory that um, uh, the sun rotates the earth, but it was seen as disinformation. <gasps> what? Oh no, the disinformation, um, according to some people, couldn't actually have you know valid valid conclusions, even though it's been labeled as disinformation, and it would actually be impossible to, to, um, to find out whether or not something is disinformation without doing years of research on, uh, certain subjects. It's harmful. So how can that harm be reduced? Well, big tech platforms say they are removing lies about vaccines and stamping- Oh, yes, lies about vaccines, like- a vaccine could actually harm you. Now stop the steel BS. Or stop the steel BS? Oh, I probably should go do a video on that, but whatever. Okay, anti-vaxxers are interesting because they do use legitimate science. And you're like, oh, they ignore science. No, 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 they actually do use legitimate vaccines. There is lead in your vaccine. There's also aluminum and iron, and too much iron is bad for you. And yes, lead is in vaccines. Lead is in most things. What they do ignores the quantity amount. A certain amount of lead can be healthy. Also, don't you remember that weapons of mass destruction thing? Oh, I do. You remember that? Yeah, I wonder who that was pushed by. Oh god. Well, then let's just let Solar Reflector here just uh, explain to us about how. You know what? Just play the clip. Sure. Yeah, many people would say yes, of course they do. Does um, big tech companies uh, have too much power? He said. Sure, most people do. A sentence before. So therefore, that's why uh, the stuff the steel BS needs to be um, discouraged by uh, major social media platforms. You have cognitive dissonance and need to find a psychologist for various reasons. Oh God. Empire's reach is not the same as censoring freedom of speech. Uh. Reducing a liar's reach is not the same as censoring freedom of speech. God, I can't do that voice. Um, 
burning a witch isn't uh, isn't murder. It's just freeing a soul. Seriously, Ryan. Okay, look, I could make more how you're bald, how you're white, how I'm blinded by the white, just in general. Um, but come on. Censoring liars isn't the same as... Oh, Jesus, it's late. Look, what, why am I recording this at 2 a.m.? Um, uh, but, um, Brian, bruh, dude, dude, bro. Um, you are just an idiot. Censoring liars isn't just censoring freedom of speech. It's, it's what again? It's dumb. Ugh. God, okay, let's see this. It's just different than freedom of reach. Yeah, um... No. No, I'm pretty sure they're the same, because if you say, Okay, you can say what you want, but nobody can hear it. You can talk. Nobody can hear it. I'm pretty much... I think that's the exact same as... You can't talk. No. Nope. No, freedom of... A fair chance of being heard is... is. I'm pretty sure that's protected under the uh, freedom of speech. So, yeah. Mr. Clean. If he... You know, was addicted to meth. Oh God! Part of the problem. And he talks about how algorithmic reach is part of the problem. So what do you want to do? You want to change an algorithm so it's biased against certain content? Hmm, that sounds oddly familiar. Something that starts with a with oh, I I just can't remember the letter. It could be a C. No, no, it's not. It's not a C. Oh, who would, who would suggest that? Okay, well, I don't really like this f no freedom of reach thing, so I'm just gonna go over here and create my own platform and... Oh, wow, it, it, it actually works. Wow, people are joining. <gasps> my, my, my platform, it got censored, meaning only... People who use these platforms can actually communicate that censor certain ideas. My platform. Oh, God. Now, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg seems to agree. Here's the headline from Politico. He's pledging to depoliticize Facebook. <laughs> oh, that's laughable. Yes, I want to depoliticize Facebook only when Biden gets into office. It's what. Where was this movement when Trump was in office? Really? Also, why would you want to depoliticize uh, something? Oh, God. Jesus. What's this? Top piece of feedback that we're hearing from our community is that people don't want politics and fighting to take over their experience on our surfaces. Don't follow people who do that. Dumb. Jeez. Real issue. And he wants to now try to clean up Facebook. What's a real issue? How how there's discourse? What's so bad about discourse? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, ready? But this is bigger than Facebook. This harm happens all over the place. What harm? Harm implies that there's some sort of Physical distress or physical violence that took place, where as uh, words can't hurt you, they cannot, they cannot physically beat you up. Most words, I should say, because that one goddamn word, mother, mother, uh, funner, that mother funner word, <laughs> fingernail. Oh God. Ah! No fingernail, stop! Ow, goddamn! And the word, ugh, 
News consumers are both overfed and malnourished at the same time, gorging on empty informational calories, indulging their sugar fixes of self-affirming half-truths and even outright lies. What do you think he okay. was talking about, Brian Stelter? Uh, I just wonder, just who do you think he was talking about? You. But even if this is true about, like, Fox News, doesn't mean you should ban it. Also, even if you were to ban it, <laughs> let's just look at drugs. Oh, they banned this? I guess I should, should do drugs. <gasps> oh. God, stop. Brian Seltzer goes on about how Fox News is evil. Yada, yada, yada. Same boring stuff. Uh, end of video. Bye.